Hi everyone, this is Basil, and um, I'm Egyptian. I moved here three years ago, and um, just want to talk about like something really important to me, which is my uh, which is my religion, and linking that to science, which is everywhere, and like we can't live without science. So um, I am trying to find ways to link neuroscience, which is my favorite type of science, because like. It's just talking about the brain. It talks about who you really are. So um, let's say neuroscience and religion, you're, you're going to be like, uh, like, what are you talking about? Um, you can't link those two together. Like, it's impossible. But actually, like, if you think about it, it's really not. And I'm not talking about a specific religion or like, I'm just talking like in general, whatever you believe in, what, whoever is your God. Like, I'm just saying you're gonna find something that is linked to science because science is everywhere. So, um, for example, in my religion, in Islam, because I'm a Muslim actually and it's like really important to me. So, um, you have, for example, uh, doubt. Doubt is not really good. It's not good at all. Like, I doubt myself before I take a test. The result is not really good to me. And I doubt myself maybe before a tournament and fencing and I just lose and like nobody nobody would like that so I'm just saying like in faith and like once I got closer to God I actually found that doubt just like went away and like more positive vibes and like more positive air is gonna be around you so just try to be more religious and try to like actually think about what you're doing and why are you doubting yourself? Always throw the negative behind you and always look forward to the positive stuff in your life. Second, I got sleep. And of course, you're gonna be like, whoa, whoa. like, why are you talking about sleep? Why is sleep important? Let's just face it. Nobody gets sleep. From kids, college students, adults, nobody gets enough sleep. So um, the religious perspective in my religion, um, sleep, can, like, if you don't sleep enough, it can harm your body, won't really make your mind function well. The second day, you're not gonna learn, like, as good as you usually do. So, like, if you just, like, focus on what I just said, like, it's the same thing in neuroscience and in what everybody is talking about. Even, like, your parents, they probably just ask you to sleep early every night. Um, second, which is a little bit of, like, different, because, um, in the religious perspective, you have dreams. Um, it's like categorized to good dreams, bad dreams, and dreams that do not have meanings. A good dreams means like um, uh, you like you have something like good, uh, like that's gonna happen. Maybe uh, your soul is pure, like uh, all that type of like, good stuff that you have, like connection with your God. And if it's a bad dream. Um, that means you're just like your soul is interacting with like um, other bad spirits and if it's a dream that has no meaning that means like um, you're just your soul is interacting with other souls because in my religion uh, the meaning of like sleep is actually like half death because your soul basically leaves the body and in science you can't say that because in science everything is like based on evidence and on what you see so Sleep in neuroscience is just like um, your memory and what your eyes scan during the day and your eyes even can scan the stuff that you dream about. Um, so like, uh, like I just said, uh, we just like need to focus on, like, on, um, on the religious thoughts and linking uh, religion to science is just going to like be a really big milestone in our lives and I just hope that I would like tell everybody and like let everybody know uh, how it is like how important it is to me and even like if you believe in a God that should be important to you too uh, so um, I really just hope that I can send a message to all the all the teenagers and all the people like uh, all the good people and uh, yeah that's just my message and I hope I give something to people and I hope people learn from at least what I said. So thank you.